Sometimes being a present of a god, it just isn't for everybody. <laughs> it's overwhelming. <laughs> All right, Ooh, what do we, we got? Uh... Inom and Alizon. Alizon, Inom, <laughs> Pokemon battle. This is uh, this go. looks like a real Pokemon battle. They're just doing their idle animations. <laughs> so, so this is uh, this is like the real thing, right? Because you know we got Pokemon Stadium too. We got the Pokemon battle. This is basically like the anime. Completely legit. So I don't know much about Inom, but I have seen a bit of Alizon's um, oh, Mewtwo I commentated, move around. I commentated I Inom. He is a really, 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 really good Jigglypuff, like top tier Jigglypuff. Okay. Yeah. And, the and then Alizon over here. Yes, and then Alizon is just a great Mewtwo. Like the only Mewtwo, yeah. I think, besides Waffle, uh, Waddles, I should say. Yeah, Alizon's Mewtwo is very clean. I've I've had the pleasure of spectating him a couple times. Pulling out some stuff, um, some unconventional stuns and stuff like that. Oh, oh and there's that Inom. Uh, oh, you're talking good about. back air. Nice back air. Commentator, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Cleanest back air you ever seen in your life. Yes. No, but like I, Inom knows this stuff. Like like when I commentate, it wasn't a uh, last event, but it was like two ago. Um. He knows how to play Jigglypuff to a T, and he really pushes the envelope for Jigglypuff, which I think is good. Like, I like seeing underrated characters like this, because you don't see a lot of Mewtwo either. And I think Mewtwo's so sick, but he just has a lot of jank to him that just doesn't work in his favor. Oh, oh my god! I think he's dead. I think, because it's Mewtwo. Is just he is dead! He died at 50! Oh my god! <laughs> Not only does Inom know what to do with his character, he knows every single little trick, and he's pulling him out already. Oh I hope he's not showing gosh. his hand too much, but... <laughs> you know, showing oh, his dominance against Alizar right and Mewtwo. Oh my god! So, oh, I don't know goodness. the grander culture around Jigglypuff in Smash Ultimate. Is is that character hated as much as they're hated in Melee? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> Jigglypuff is more of a, a fun character to play and not a character you should really take seriously. But, oh nice, that was oh, a good back Good here. awareness from Alizar, um, going for the kill instead of just recovering. Um, Jigglypuff really relies on text. Um, like we saw with like where he where Alizon missed attack and he was able to do like a little string with Sing. See like that. Where thankfully Oh, he still got stuck. <gasps> okay, that was gross. Can we talk about that? So this is one of the situations we're talking about Mewtwo oh, and how oh, bad he is. Where he Mewtwo four tilted and got hit by Sing. Now, that's the reason why Mewtwo's not good, because Mewtwo's her fox is his tail. <laughs> so So yeah. he spaced he spaced it perfectly when Inom specifically messed up and Alizon got punished for it. <laughs> so that's kind of that's kind of crazy if you ask me, man. Oh, and also Jigglypuff Nair is so good. Jigglypuff back air. She's got good options. Um, she just dies too early, and that's the biggest thing. Yeah, I mean it's it's one of those characters that is hard to deal with if you're not used to it. You know. That's right. Ooh, good super, catch. Super strange kill confirms. Super strange um, stun. But if you don't know what you're doing, it works out actually. Mm -hmm. Or uh, you, I should say you, you, should, you don't know how to fight against it. Jigglypuff has good tech chases too, as you saw there. Honestly, because dash attack is really good. Yeah, I and mean, just out of shield and air. Jigglypuff's offstage presence monstrous as well. Obviously, mm -hmm. she can. It just lasts forever. Around. Yeah, and then never afraid to damage the shield and pound because bound also mm -hmm. lasts forever. It's got good drift to it. So what's it gonna take for Alizon's Mewtwo to uh, take this match here? I think he has to not approach. Just play the, play the long game. Yeah, Jigglypuff has to be the one to approach, uh, especially since Shadow Ball kept getting Ooh, buffed good, and buffed good. a lot quicker. It's almost Broke like Falco catch. Laser now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, that will do it. That move yeah. is effectively strong, for those who don't know. If you're at a high percentage and you're as light as Mewtwo is... Ooh. Oh! Yeah, there goes the Nair. That Nair is monstrous. Oh, and then Inom giving us a little concert at the end. I like it. Also, I will say this is probably my favorite Jigglypuff skin with a little ribbon in the back. It's pretty cute. Yeah, it's clean. It's it's uh, it's fresh. <laughs> Do the fashion show for all the characters. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> um, no, that was good. No, like I said before, like two tournaments ago, that was my first time ever seeing Inom, and I was talking mm. to uh, Cameron or Dribble Steve, and he knows him quite a bit. And so, thankfully, I got the honor to actually see him in action, and now yeah. I know how. Awesome! This guy is, is playing Jigglypuff, and nothing. Do you gets... know if they're from Alberta at all? Um, I think so. I'm not too yeah. sure. I, I haven't. I don't think I've ever seen him in person. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen too many local Jigglypuffs. No. But I, I enjoy watching it because, like I said, it's it's a different type type of gameplay, you know. And they go for really weird setups, and they go for really weird uh, neutrals and stuff like that. And it usually puts the other player on on a back foot. 
you know. Okay, so Einam is Einam's from Calgary. Oh, shout chat. out representing Calgary. Yeah, the really? audacity okay. to put really? it in chat before the game. This man is insane. <laughs> He's like, listen here, I won game one, and I'm gonna specifically tell you where I'm from so people know me, man. Hey, you know what, Einom? Nothing. I can't respect uh, anything more than repping your city, even That's if it's man, Calgary. Man. Even if it's Calgary, yeah. the city that has a yeah. big giant head in their downtown center for no <laughs> reason. I'm always gonna clown on the big head. Damn! <laughs> Come on, Ty. You can't do him like that. They got, it's a big giant head statue. Okay, don't get me started with the head statue. We're gonna be here all night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to the match. Gotta see this action right here. Einom has 106%. Alazon hopefully learned from this last match that uh, he doesn't always have to approach because he did a lot of the approaching last time. Um, Einom, although when uh, Alazon started playing a little more defensively, Einom just jumped over every single one of the. Oh wow, that. that yeah, it seems yeah, like Einom that... definitely knows how to deal with this type of this type of um, you know sit back and and shoot balls in gameplay. Yeah, it's also very ballsy how he just eats up shields from Shadow Ball, because we all know Jigglypuff has like the worst shield of the game, because if you break it, it's basically a stock. Mm, okay. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's the same as Melee. Yeah, I mean, look at the, look at Einom's movement. Oh, that was so nice. Confident. It's so confident. They just know exactly what to do. They they have the spacing right, and they're pressuring. They're fearless. <laughs> I feel like Alizon is trying to do the math in his head. Um, you know, actually, Alizon holding the lead right now, though, so if they can rack that damage up, even if they get a stock taken, they're sitting pretty good for that next one. Mm -hmm. He definitely has to take advantage of his space. Oh, that mirror. Like, that back air is very good. Oh, 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 oh good guy. Almost, almost taking a dominant lead there. Yeah. Like, great guy from Einom. Yeah. Really, if it wasn't uh, for uh, really Town great. City, he would have died. Yeah, the giant, uh, the giant realm of Town and City. He's dead from this. That's, that's yeah. Alizon, oh, three stocks to one. That's, I what even that. that's what I'm saying. Alizon, I, I thought he was at two stocks and at this percentage, he's at three, buddy. So he's really adapted to Inom's uh, gameplay from last match, it seems. Yeah, definitely a lot better here. I feel like I'm not giving enough props to either player because I, they're both so good. I mean, Alizon, really playing patiently, really playing his his fundamental character traits to their max to face off against this. Oh my goodness. Inom. I yeah. am really playing like a warrior though. Really playing wow, like a warrior. Exactly. You know what? No, okay, no that warrior. last stock, that last stock from Alazon mm -hmm. is exactly what we said he needed to do. He played it perfectly, and it was a three stock, mind you. <laughs> yeah, man, that was perfect adaptation from the first match. That was possible crazy. Download, possible download initiated or maybe, what? maybe. Hey, listen, man. Mewtwo is like what? He's like the best psychic type of all time. He's like super smart. He can, he can. He's got telepathy and everything. He read him. He's like, <laughs> got the download complete. He's like, uh, yes, Mr. President, I know what to do. I have. I I'll counter you with that one and say that Jigglypuff has like dumb baby energy and is. <laughs> you know, I think I think Inom, if he, if he channels that dumb baby energy that Jigglypuff has, he can get in there and and just just rip this psychic guy apart. <laughs> I'm gonna bunk up back air. Yeah, exactly. sing rest. <laughs> okay, down air sing or down air rest. Down air rest. That's a confirm. It's a confirm yeah. in this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I'll win, win this, this time. time. Let's started. see if you. <laughs> Here we go. I like it. This is Sasuke versus Naruto right now. This is the hopeful Inom, goofy baby brain versus. No, I, no, man, man, Jigglypuff looking exactly like Sakura. We know how she is in the anime, bro. <laughs> She's got Whoa. the bow and everything. Come on. It's true, it's true. What she can do is punch you super hard off stage. So yeah. I'm not really gonna have to get get that done. He got worked on the last match. So how yeah, does that's... a Jigglypuff deal with the great spacing that Alizon's putting on? Honestly, just use your floatiness. Like he like I said, he's been jumping over sh shadow balls a lot. Um a like that, for example, where he just he's not afraid of running and shield, which I think works to an extent. Ooh, that back there, back back there. Oh, with the taunt as well! He is not playing. I love I know man. That's what I'm saying. The big baby energy. He's here to play. He's not here to win. He's here to play and and it just happens to win. Also, what's very good is that if he puts out a, a very long lasting hitbox, like right on ledge or right beside edge, um, E2 has no like hit her a hitbox to his upbeat, so he can get very easily two framed. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Well, let's no, see if I'm play very good against teleport that. recoveries. Um, chip in the armor there. Mm -hmm. Looks like Alizon kind of 
controlling the pace of it on this stock. Doesn't want to rack up too much percentage. That was um, ballsy. Wow. I thought for sure I saw, um, I was almost going to get some ooh, sort of back air on him. Shield the shields are low. I gotta say, um, inon has been going into Alizon shields a lot too this game, and if they can kind of figure figure out you know, when to go in, when not to go in, when the shields are up and stuff, um, they'll find that they're gonna get grabbed a little less. Yeah. Oh, and that's cool too. Yeah, Nidom has been crouching a lot versus Shadow Balls, mm -hmm. which he's got full authority to do. Yeah. Shadow Blast! Snipe. That move is so... I love that forward air so much. Oh, it yeah, does. It's down quick and it kills. Oh. It sounds so good too when you land it real chunky style. It's definitely one of the most satisfying moves to hit. Mm -hmm. Good recovery. Oh, I know I'm in so Oh, much. see? Exactly what I was talking about there, except yeah. Alzon wasn't afraid to back air. Yeah, oh, Alzon's been playing all stage really well against um, a Jigglypuff, I have to say. Mm -hmm. it, it's not the first time he has gone for a back air or gone for a forward air up onto recovery. Mm -hmm. And now Zon's playing this second stock a lot better. Like, um, Jigglypuff typically works better in the air, like she did for all the other games. But he's uh, specifically timing out uh, the. Sh sh oh, oh, okay. Trying to get some disables going around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I think Inom is being a little too ballsy for this stock now. Dang, Jigglypuff oh, really... nice in the nair. There you go. <laughs> wow. Um. Oh, 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 yeah, do you think that Inom should be taking advantage of the offstage situation a little more? I mean, Alizon absolutely, absolutely. I think he's, I, <gasps> he is dead. This is death. At fifty, for real? Dang! Oh. At fifty. Listen, oh, man. Remember, my wait, man. Remember, didn't they give you two a very, very small buff in terms of like weights? Yeah. Well, that doesn't matter. He still dies at fifty. Does not Damn. matter, son. Does not Damn. matter. And the game is it even like, we even, we, we even want to see that, bro. Get that out of here. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, Nintendo said, shut it off. Shut it off. We, <laughs> we didn't he need died, to have okay. you He died, died at when? Me. He died at how? Yeah, we'll yeah. shut this down. <laughs> Sakurai's like, oh, well, yeah, we got to patch that. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> well, great showing from Inom. I think both of these, both of these players have really, really great control of their characters. Um, Alizon just getting edged out that just a little bit, you know, just enough to uh, to take the L. But, I mean, Alizon's projectile and keep away game was very, very, very good. And offstage, Alizon was actually working the Jigglypuff, which I don't think should be the case. You know, Jigglypuff is a character that can fly around all... all uh... <laughs> okay, Yarl. Yarl's gone again. Oh, he's back again! <laughs> oh, no, with my stuff, man. I'm freezing. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's good? I should put my uh, thing on. Yeah, it's I don't know. You got that iced tea, man. You're drinking too much iced tea. You're too icy cold. I, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to shut me down, you know, because they know the sponsor's not at Brisk, which is my dream sponsor. So they're like, uh, sorry, Blake, it's Red Bull, man. <laughs> also, oh, you right, see on the very, very corner of my screen, right, like right, right here. Oh, sorry, right here was uh. A very nice shipment of Red Bull that was during uh, the Red stream. Shout out to Monster. Yeah. They gave us a snowboard yeah. uh, for this event. <laughs> oh, they, they they give us they give us they give us snowboard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um. All right. And. Hey, yeah. uh, Oh yes, I, I have it here actually. Uh, okay, oh, we increased 20. to six hundred and eighteen dollars the past like hour, so that's like very good, like one hundred and sixty uh, more than our last time. So Dang. let's see, we have uh, Dribbles D, the Lucas main. He uh, donated forty dollars. We got um, Alexis Texas donating twenty. He's like for Scubs because we know Scubs the oh, big Scubs cool fan. Team. Alexis Texas. Mm -hmm. We got Broke Neko uh, donating a hundred dollars, which is awesome. Uh, great cause, super fun stream. Yeah, super um, dope. Always good. Oh, and then wheels as well, just a Bible safety. Uh, the homie Doomsday 
Uh, <laughs> also donated 20. What's the Ganondorf main himself. Let's go. Doomsday has been a champ, been, been watching in chat. Thanks for mm -hmm. signing up. <laughs> they were saying, oh, I didn't know it was going to be this competitive. But I'm really glad you got to be a part of the, you know, competitive vibe because it's a nice fiery energy. Yeah. And, you know, again, everyone, please just, you you some you don't even have to donate if you just want to watch a stream. Just make sure to just spread it. Spread the awareness because it's going for a good cause. And if you have a dollar to spend or five or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. think about the times everyone's going through right now it's rough it's a rough season let's be honest especially for alberta here we're going in another another minor lockdown and people really need this stuff um it's gonna be the christmas season soon so mm -hmm. people are going to need more appreciation more love out there so just spread the awareness spread the love it's time in the world that we really need it right now and a lot of people especially in the hospitals could really use it 